This is Algebra 2, Lesson 111, and we're on page 450. All right, so this lesson is titled Three Statements of Equality, and we have worked three statements of equality. It's, but it's looked something like something X plus something Y plus something Z equals a number, and then we've been given two other equations, right? So you know how to solve these problems, but we've been given the equations. Now, they're in words. So we're not given the equations. So anytime we have three variables, <clears throat> we must have three equations in order to solve for the variables. If I have if I have three variables and only two equations, I cannot solve that system of equations. I must have at least the number of equations as I do variables in order to be able to solve the system. Does that make sense? Yes? Okay. All right, so the only difference in this lesson is we're not given the equations, we are given words, all right? So let's look at example one on 450. All right, and you help me to write these equations. <clears throat> there were 26 nickels, dimes, and quarters. What should I write? What does that tell me? Go ahead. Nickels plus dimes plus quarters equals 26. Nickels plus dimes plus quarters equals 26. That's if I count the coins. <coughs> That's how many coins that I have. Make sense? And their value was $2.25. Michael, what do you think I should write there? Their value is $2.25. Um, number, or, I don't know, like the number of nickels and quarters or value of nickels. Okay, what is the value of nickels? Oh, 10N plus, no, 5N plus 10B plus 25Q equals $2. Oh, okay, do I put a decimal here? No. No. If I don't put a decimal in these numbers, I don't put a decimal here. What if it would have been their value was $10? What would I have written here? A thousand, not ten, right? You have to include your cents in this, if I'm leaving this here, your cents. That sounded crazy. C-E-N-T-S, not S-E-N. You should use your S-E-N-S-E. -E. All right. How many coins of each type were there? Yeah, it took you a little while to get that, huh? <laughs> How many coins of each type were there if there were, all right, Hannah, you're going to help me write this. If there were ten times as many nickels as quarters. What do I have more of? 10 times, Hannah, as many nickels as quarters. 10 times as many nickels as quarters. Yeah. 10Q equals what? Nickels. Right. Anytime you have 10 times as many something as something, it straddles it, right? You take the one in the middle is the one is by itself. All right, so how are we going to solve this? We've done this before. <coughs> yes? Can you substitute 10Q into your A in the first equation? Yes. All right, do we want to substitute anywhere else? Oh. The first and the second. All right, so we're going to substitute 10Q for N in the first and the second equation. All right, so we have 10Q plus D plus Q is 26. Probably need to get a darker marker. Oh, I have a new marker. <clears throat> so this is what? 11Q plus D is 26. Amazing how much nicer this is. All right, and here we'll substitute 10Q for N, and it's 5 times 10Q plus 10D plus 25Q equals 225. That's 50. 50 and 25 is 
75Q plus 10D is 225. All right, now we have two equations here and here. How would y'all solve this one? This system. We have two variables, two equations. We can solve it. Ashley. Couldn't you, um, on the 11Q plus D, for please accidentally solve for D? Yes. So by subtracting the 11Q on both sides, D is negative 11Q plus 26. And now we can substitute this in for D. So we have 75Q plus 10 times negative 11Q plus 26 equals 225. So we'll distribute the 10. We have 75Q minus minus 110 plus two, that's Q, plus 260 equals 225. We'll subtract the 260 on both sides. Combine our like terms. What's 75 minus 110? Negative 35. Negative 35Q equals negative 35. How many quarters do we have? One. If we have one quarter, how many nickels do we have? Ten. All right, so quarters, we have one. We have ten nickels. So therefore, how many dimes do we have? Fifteen. Let's make sure that works. All right, ten dimes. What's the value of ten dimes? One dollar. Uh-huh. What's the value of... I meant ten nickels. Ten nickels. Not a dollar. Fifty cents. Okay. Fifteen dimes. A dollar fifty. One quarter. <laughs> I hope y'all get that. And that is $2.25. How long did it take me to check it? Not long. And then I know I'm correct. Right? Always quickly check your work. All right, does this make sense? Only difference, we have to come up with the equations. <clears throat> All right, second example. The total numbers of blues, greens, and yellows in the pot was seven. Sarah, what do you think I write for that? The total number of blues, greens, and yellows in the pot was seven. Good job. Nathaniel, help me with the next one. The blues weighed one pound. I'm on page 451. I have, like, a different book. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Example 111.2. One, one, one Lesson 111. Do you have the same example? The total number of blues, greens, and yellows in the pot was seven. You see that? Yes. Okay, second, second one. <clears throat> the blues weighed one pound each. The greens weighed four pounds each. <clears throat> and yellow is five pounds each. The total weight was 25. What do you think I write for that? <clears throat> um, you put D plus um, four G plus five Y equals 25. Yes, yeah. All right, Jake. If there was one more yellow than green, one more yellow than green. Green plus one is yellow. <clears throat> okay, I want you to listen to this. One more yellow than green. That's correct. We have more yellows, right? All right, so how would you solve this? Therese, where would you start? in both of the other equations. Yeah. All right, so this is what we're substituting into. 
So it's blue plus green plus green plus one is seven. And then we have blue plus 4G plus five times G plus one is 25. We'll subtract the one, simplifying this, right? V plus 2G is six. This is V plus 4G, distributing our five. Plus 5G plus five is 25. We'll subtract our five. Combine our like terms. Blues plus nine G's is 20. All right, Will, how would you solve this? Yes, that's exactly what I do. So I'm just gonna change every sign in this equation and write it under this equation. So I end up with seven, G is 14. All right, we have two greens. If I have two greens, how many yellows do I have, Evie? I have, say that again, three, yeah. I thought someone else said something. All right, so if I have two greens, two greens, three yellows, then Mackenzie, how many blues do I have? Two, let's make sure that works. Blues weigh one, greens weigh four, so that's eight. Yellows weigh five, so that's 15, and that's 25. 